Yeah. Quite beautiful, hey? Alrighty, bon dia. Welcome to this week's episode of Tip It In Tuesday. I'm out here with Ben in Andorra. As you would have seen in the episode the other day, we went skiing. Now we're doing some bike rides. Got all the best sports happening in one place. Right now we are at the top of Engolasters. Contrary to popular belief, the road's actually super dry. They salt this one really well. So even though there's heaps of snow and it is melting, a lot of the road is dry. In the second half of this video, Ben's gonna give a few descending tips. For the moment, let's do Engolasters. Give this one a like if you haven't already. And uh, let's go and ride bikes. So that is descent number one out the way. That was Engelasters. Nice little descent, just a little warm up. Ben obviously dropped me down there. I don't have disc brakes yet. Yet. <laughs> As you can see, the roads were pretty, pretty dry for most of the way, but still we're just taking it easy on some of those corners. Now we are heading across to a climb called La Comea. We're gonna go up the climb, then we're gonna go down the other side. And then I think we're gonna do another climb which is where we will talk to you guys about some tips for descending. For the moment, we're gonna keep riding. We'll chat to you guys shortly.
So we've just done our second climb. That one was La Comea, just a short one. And then we descended off there, a bit slippery, but actually not too bad. And now we've come down a bit further down in Andorra and we're doing probably what is the best winter climb to do in Andorra when it's sunny. This is La Rabassa. So La Rabassa is a long climb. If you go all the way to the top, it's 15 kilometers. But today we're just gonna go until it gets a bit icy and then we'll turn around. So, as I promised, we've got some descending tips for you guys. I'm currently sitting next to Ben O'Connor. Ben is well known for tipping it in down a descent in the Andorra stage of this year's Tour de France. He got dropped over the top of the Col de Bechelis and he actually chased back on to the front group, saved his fourth on GC and got the KOM descent down the Collada de Bechelis. Long story short, let's get to some descending tips. So my first tip for descending is this. Safety is key. You always want to keep it within the bounds of what you can do. No one thinks big of you if you descend a couple of seconds quicker than your mates and they will think even less of you if you bin it going down a descent. So always go within the realms of what you think you can handle and then knock it off by 10%. That'd be my tip number one. Moving on to Ben. Ben's got a tip for us. What is your tip number two? For me, it's changing down the gears before you get to the corner so you're ready for the exit rather than being stuck in the 11 and trying to get yourself going again out the corner. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that big crunching thing when you're coming out of the corner. That's a good tip number two. Tip number three is this. In preparing for the corner, do all your braking before you start cornering. So you want to wash off your speed before you get to the corner so that when it comes to the actual corner itself, you can go around it smoothly. If you are grabbing brakes in the middle of the corner, you've done it wrong. You want to be just very lightly on the brakes if you have to be, or ideally you want to have done all of your braking before the corner. And so you can stay off the brakes and just cruise around. Initially that's slower, but slow is smooth and smooth eventually becomes fast. Going on to tip number four, what has been got for us? So for me, I find going into a corner late so that when you exit the corner, you're at the right trajectory rather than getting pushed out towards the other lane. If you go in early, you always run wide. When you come in late, the only place that the corner is going to take you is out and straight. So take the corner a little bit wider, carry your momentum mm -hmm. and stay in the correct lane when you're coming out the other side. Yep, exactly. So if you watch Ben on that last descent footage, basically Ben was starting the corner a bit later. He was almost following the white line and then he was tipping in and he was actually staying in the correct lane. Whereas I got pushed a bit wide because I cut the corner a little bit tight. I cut across the, the apex of it and then I got pushed right into the other lane. So yeah, do as Ben says, not as you see me doing the video. <laughs> Okay, so tip number five. Now we're getting a little bit more technical. If you've got the first few ones down, staying slow and going smooth, doing your braking beforehand, preparing for the corner with your gears. Tip number five is this. When you're actually in the corner, push down on your outside foot and keep your body weight centered above the bike. So what you wanna do is put all the pressure on the outside of the tires, pushing down into the road. And the way you do that is as you lean the bike and you keep your body centered above it, you push down on your outside heel and also drop your inside heel down as well. That just keeps all your weight nice nicely over the center of the bike and you can curve around the corner and stay planted. So my next tip is to keep a bit of weight off the saddle. Whilst you're pushing down on the outside leg, also raise yourself slightly from the saddle so that the bike has got a bit less weight and can curve and turn far more easily. Just keeps it in a smoother kind of arc of motion. I'm not talking about getting out of the saddle, just lifting weight off your, off your bum. Right, if you're pressing down on the saddle, it's drifting over the inside part of the bike, which is what makes you slip out. It's a little bit hard to explain, but the more you practice it, the easier I think it'll become. Okay, so that's six tips out the way. Ben's gonna give us our final seventh tip. What is your last tip for descending well from a world to a descender? Using the maps on your Wahoo or your computer so that you know exactly what's coming up, exactly how sharp the hairpin's gonna be, how technical the descent's gonna be. It can apply to racing, it can apply to training, and also when you're just a tourist and you have no idea which way to go. At least it always keeps you safe to know which way the road's taking you. Good tip, that's a nice little one to end it on. Always look at your Wahoo, keep an eye on those maps. Maybe while you were also looking at maps, just keep an eye on your speed. <laughs> Again, safety, let's go back to the safety element. I don't wanna be responsible for you guys binning it off the side of a hill because you were trying to go too quick for a tip it in Tuesday of your own. Alrighty, so now Ben has given us all those tips. Ben is going off to do the opposite of descending. He's actually got some sprint efforts today, so he's going to go and do his sprints. I'm going to keep cruising up La Rabassa and yeah.
So my eighth and final tip before we wrap this one up and descend down Larabasa just here is always carry a lightweight jacket with you for the descent so you don't get too cold. Big shout out to Attacker for sending me a sweet new A-line jacket. I know this is a full product placement, but they do hand me my kit. So I'm more than happy to shout them out. And uh, one final thing. So this is the last Tip It In Tuesday for 2021. Got plenty coming in 2022. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for the support throughout this year. It's been sick. It's so cool to have the support of everyone who's sent me messages and left comments and given likes and subscribed throughout the course of this year. A big, big thank you to all my Patreons as well. All right, let's descend off this mountain and uh, we'll see you in the next episode of Tristan Take Video very, very soon. Adeo!